Hello, hi, good afternoon. Um, it's Tendai here. And um, I just wanted to come on this afternoon and just share. A, hi, guys, how are you? Good afternoon to you, wherever you are across the world. Um, I just wanted to come this afternoon and just share a little message um, to just encourage someone out there um, about the fact that you are carrying precious cargo inside of you. Um, this really was uh, spurred by a, a dream that I had last night where um, I was led to a scripture in Matthew, in the book of Matthew, Matthew 10, where Jesus was... Um, Okay, hold on. What is it talking about here? Okay. That's fine. Yeah, where Jesus was uh, giving his um, apostles instructions on their commission, on what they were meant to do. Um, and, you know, he sent them out to heal the sick, cleanse lepers, raise the dead, and cast out devils. It actually says their work outlined. And there is a work that is outlined for you and I to do in our lifetime. There are things that, you know, we have been created for, things that we've been designed for, this concept of purpose um, that we are here for. And as he outlined what they were supposed to do, what he had put inside of them, what their mandate and their commission was, you know, he gave them a warning and said, you know what, if you were to go to a place um, and you're not welcome there and um, your message is not received, you know, don't stay, <laughs> just dust your foot off, your feet off and move on, move on to the next place. So, the fact that you're not being received or you're not being welcomed or the messages and being appreciated is not that it's not good or it's not that you are not worthy. It's the fact that you have gone to the place that they have unbelief. They don't believe in you. They don't believe in what you're carrying. They don't believe in the treasure that is inside of you. And you should not stay there because you're not being put to good use. Hallelujah. My levels. My levels, you know, um, and he says, when you go into a place, you know, declare your peace over that place. Hallelujah. My levels, but in those places that they reject you, that they say, no, we're not going to have you. <laughs> Don't try and force yourself to say, ah, but I'm carrying a message. You got to have this message. You got to have this concept that I have. You got to shakata. Dust yourself off and move on, move on. And I'm speaking to someone today where it's time to move because you are carrying some priceless things. You are Maya Tala Baba. And some of the things that you're carrying are very time sensitive. You know, Kaba Kaba Kaba, Laka Tokoto. If we think of all of our lives, our lives are time sensitive because we are here on the side of eternity for a specific time, except for those who are pressing into the Enoch anointing of walking off this earth with God. Hallelujah. We are here for a specific time. And you cannot spend years and years and years, mala zogodo, investing in places or things or concepts that do not receive ma jagadagada or welcome your ideas that do not receive your concepts, that do not receive or even try and work around with ha ramaka sokoto, my levels, my levels, that which is inside of you. Hallelujah. So that is my message. Short, sharp, you know, you are carrying precious cargo. You have great tools inside of you. Christ himself, you know, could not perform many miracles. He was the book of the Bible is full of miracles that he did, but his own hometown could not receive those miracles. They had unbelief. You know, it says a prophet is without honor in his own town. You know, the, the debauch, a lot of the stuff that he said was offensive. Some people just looking at me with blue hair, they'll just, think, oh, I'm not speaking, to, I'm not listening to a blue haired woman. Perhaps it's a word that they need, but they, if they can't receive, they can't receive it. So, do not linger 
for too long in places where you're not welcome. Do not linger unnecessarily in places where you're not being received. There are people who are waiting for you. Hey, Maraka Sakata, the word that you will speak, it's like water from a drought season. Mando Shandorabaha, you are an answer to prayer. The anointing that you carry will break yoke. Ha ha ha. Jamando you are loaded with insight that will change a generation. Mando Kada de de Gazogodo. Malaga Zogodo. You know, I, I can imagine how discouraging it is, you know, to go shopping and, and bring and invest money into, into groceries and go and de deliver it somewhere. And the people just look at it like, we don't want that. We don't want that grocery. Mando Kajagada. Halabaha. So in a similar way, your life, God has invested your experiences, your education, your journey, the things you've gone through. You know, Mando Kaba Shakata. You are an earthly vessel with some treasure inside of it. Some of it has been exposed, some of it is still hidden and constantly being excavated and exposed. And can you imagine to place you somewhere, you know, full of all these goodies? full of all this knowledge, full of all this wisdom, full of all this insight, full of all this help that you are carrying. Mando Shando, you are a gift to the world. You are an answer to prayer. The reason you were placed on this earth for such a time as this, because you are a solution. You have things to solve. You have things to answer. You are a message. Maya Gazogodo. Do not allow the message to rot. The groceries can rot there. Mara za da 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 da. If people don't take them, if people don't consume them, if people don't eat them, you know, ha ha ha. It's a waste of a product. So move, move, move. It's a word for somebody today to move. You are carrying stuff that's way too precious, way too priceless to continue in that place where you are not welcome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I, I hope you got the message. I hope you got the memo. It's time to move. You have many miracles to release that are inside of you. Many insights, many strategies, but you've been to, 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 rabababa, laga zogodo. That place that you are is not the right place. It's a place where you're throwing your pearls to swine. You know, they're just trampling all over it. And guess what? You're ending up feeling worthless and useless. And then malazo do, 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 do. It's not you that's the prob problem. You've, you're putting the, the product with the wrong placement. And it's not their fault for not receiving it, you know. It's not their style. It's not for them. It's mandandala babaha. So what you are carrying has got to be repositioned. So I pray for wisdom over you uh, that the Lord will speak clearly. If this message is, is sparking something inside of you, mala zogo dogo dogo do, that you get the memo right. You hear where you need to go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the world is waiting for you. Creation is eagerly waiting for you to be revealed. People are praying, doing all night prayers. And God send this answer. Haraba Zagada. And you are carrying it in your very existence. I pray that you may go to the places that you are well received, that you are celebrated, where the things that you are carrying are needed. No more wastage. No more wasting time. Maraka Sakata. Your life is time sensitive. Mandara Baba Bosha. Riba Bobo Bobo Bosha. Kalama Sakata. Maleka Sakata. Minana Nezishami. So let miracle signs and wonders abound all around you because you're walking in purpose, on time, in the right places. Ha, ha, ha. Father, we bless your holy name. Thank you, great I am. Thank you for this one who, ah, Makatendeka Jehovah is going to be positioned in the places where they will flourish, they will thrive. They will be celebrated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it's not only about being celebrated. You know, some places, you know, I don't think Jesus was overly celebrated, but he did what he needed to do. He delivered what he needed to deliver. Malaka Sokoto, Pakasekite, Rakasakata. And that is my prayer for you that the places where you will deposit stuff, it will be received and it will bring benefit and life and fruition to others. That will be your portion. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. God bless you and have a fantabulous rest of the day.